know that Isaiah brings so much firepower to your offense, especially from three. So how much did you maybe miss him out there today in that aspect? And how do you think it affected the game in a sense? Hunter, you want to go first? Um, I mean, obviously, um, Isaiah is a great talent, one of the best players in the country. And so, you know, missing him was obviously, you know, going to be a big um, kind of hill that we had to climb over. But I think the team did a really good job of, you know, next man up. Coach always says how um, we need to be a next man up mentality, you know, inspire him. And, you know, I think we really went out there and tried to, you know, expire, inspire him. Um, you know, we tried our best, but, you know, moving forward, um, we just need to keep um, staying connected as a team. And I think um, we'll grow from this. Next question is from Teddy Gutkin from the Michigan Daily. Um, this one's for Hunter. Can you just walk me through that last play and what Coach Howard said in the huddle to you guys? Uh, he had, driven, he had um, drawn up a play like the put the position before whenever we were, we were in the huddle um, and we had that play. Um, it was a high ball screen for Mike. Um, basically everybody else was, you know, in the corners or lifted. And, you know, that's um, the play we went with. Um, everybody was confident in it. Um, if we had the opportunity to go back, um, I would not be hesitant at all with letting Mike shoot that next one. Um, I think we're all, uh, we were all confident in Mike, and I told him after the game, um, I'd, I'd let him shoot that one again if he had the chance. Next question comes from Steve Kornacki from the Wolverine Report. I, I, if I could ask each, each of you a question. The first one is for Brandon. You, you've been with Isaiah for a, a long time, and, and I'm sure that you're close. To, if you could share maybe a little bit of what you told Isaiah when you learned the news that he was going to be out. Um, I just said I was going to try to uh, live up to his his name as, as much as I could. Um, he brings a lot to the team. So um, I really wanted to kind of match that and bring as much as I could today. Um, he gives me a lot of great advice and um, just things I could do better on the court. Um, he's a great leader, great friend, great teammate, great brother. So um, he, he's helped me out a lot this year. And, and for Hunter, if he could... Coach touched on the fact that you guys have a, a line drill for the play where where you made the steal on Liddell and then drove for the basket. Talk about sort of the beauty of that, seeing preparation present an opportunity and then and then making the big play that you made. Uh, yeah, Coach always talks about, you know, building habits and practice um, with the drills that we do. And so that's, you know, a drill that not many of us, you know, really enjoy because it's pretty um, pretty difficult, you know. Nobody really, um, it's a pretty difficult drill for us, but obviously um, it pays off and it helped in the game uh, to try to get us closer to the victory. Thank you. Next question is from Andrew Kahn from M Live. Um, both of you, I guess, could you speak to the uh, mood of the team, you know, when you learned uh, Isaiah would be out indefinitely? Um, obviously, we're pretty devastated. Um, it's never it's never good to see like one of our brothers down, but um, we try to be the most connected team at all times, and um, it's just the next man up mentality. Um, he brought a lot to the team, but we also trust in our other teammates to uh, bring something to the table. So um, yeah, we just we just want to stay connected, try to stay connected at all times, no matter how difficult it can get. You sort of just asked it. Just a quick follow up is. Once you get past the devastation of Isaiah being out, um, did you take it? Do you start assessing if you're just human, if you don't think, how does this affect our national title chances? And I know what you said about you still believe that. Why Why do you still believe that losing such a key cog? Because we're competitors. Um, you know, if you go into the NCAA tournament thinking that you're going to lose, then you're going to lose. Um, it's on the back of our shooting shirts for competitors only. <clears throat> um, as a competitor, if you go in to the game thinking you're going to lose, um, the odds are you probably will lose. Um, so I think, you know, just being a competitor, um, I know B. Johns and the rest of the team is, um, I think, 
we would be lying to ourselves if we thought that, you know, I, or at least for me, I have the utmost confidence in the rest of the players to, you know, step up. Um, the guy sitting next to me, I feel like um, I have the most confidence in him for him to be able to step up. And, you know, Zay's obviously got some big shoes to fill, but I think with B. Johns, you know, Terrence, Shondi, guys coming off the bench, um, you know, it's, it's possible to um, kind of put a Band-Aid on the wound. 